Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Uh, sorry for my uh, laughter, but I was just watching Tone Vase stream, and you gotta love it. You gotta love it when Tone starts to talk about shit coins uh, and saying that if you want to trade this garbage, uh, you then <laughs> go ahead and trade that garbage. And of course, he was talking about Dogecoin, which, by the way, I um, this morning I tweeted already about Doge, and it became irrational, so I just deleted it from my uh, radar, so I'm not even watching what Doge is doing anymore because it's completely rational. So there's no point. And when an asset goes irrational, you just you should forget it and uh, delete the temptation of trading that shit coin, that garbage, as Tonve says. So let's uh, have a quick video today. There's not a big change since yesterday, since the live, the big live stream that I promised you guys. So let's see, uh, let's have the screen share and see what's happening. Here it is. So um, let's go directly in the price to time model. And it's not looking bad. I like it. So here you have it. Price to time model, the weekly chart. Uh, as you guys know, the price to time model is a weekly candle chart. So we had the past week was very good. We went above the uh, red uh, week prior and we are now fighting here around 50, 55, 56 K to uh, break the resistance. It's not a big resistance. However, it's uh, it's been strong for the last few hours and days uh, to break out this weekly candle to the upside and probably have some kind of breakout. I hope on the third range boundary that you guys saw from the previous uh, weeks. So we again did not touch the 20 week moving average, the SMA, simple moving average. And this candle is now forming a nice hammer for the weekly. And if this continues like that, I would like the at least the weekly candle to close like that and probably go to the upside as this is a hammer. So it's a bullish candle. So that's the price of time model. Let me just turn off the sound on my phone. And let's check what's happening here on the MRI. So let's look at the weekly. We had a bit of a surge in the last hour. The this this candle here, the weekly candle was red, but now we have a green candle and the green candle is now above my trend line. So if this closes, if the week closes on Sunday like that, I would I will be bullish and you can see even the weekly candle, you can see it going up. So I guess uh, on a smaller time frame, we can see this uh, Bitcoin moving up uh, rather quickly right now. So, but what I like the most is that the weekly candle is again above my trend line. So it's possible that we could see um, some nice movements to the upside. Also, you guys can see, you saw it already on the price of time model, but here on the weekly candle of the MRI strategy, you see that the candles do did not touch the 20 week simple moving average. So I would prefer that the, the candles at least touched it back down here around 44K for that week. But now if we touch it, it will be much higher. Uh, this will be around the 49 if this is next week, if this is this week, this week we would touch it around 47 and a half. Next week this would be around 49 even. But it looks good. I like the hammer. And let's see how this evolves for the weekly. Let's take a look at the oscillators. The RSI is just going sideways. So neutral RSI. The MACD continues to be bearish. We have three red bars and we have the blue line below the orange line. However, the blue line is not as steep as it was before and it's now turning a bit back up although it's still going uh, downwards but let's see what happens on the weekly after the weekly close on sunday uh, so let's take a look at the daily chart the daily chart looks good so on the weekly this was above the trend line but on the daily it's still 
trying to break the trend line as you guys can see here however this day was very good as compared to yesterday because we did not close well we opened the candle just a bit below just a hair below the previous day and usually that's uh, not very good when it opens or much lower than the close of the previous day but however we regained all the same length of the prior candle so we are now above the opening of yesterday so that's a good sign also we are breaking above the moving averages as you guys see here the red is the 100 day the yellow is the 50 day and the green is the 20 day and we are now trading above all those moving averages just trying to break this uh, trend line that i draw a long time ago also uh, the mri is telling me that this is a red four for the week so we might have just had a one to four candle correction on the weekly chart and probably we could see a reversal of the price action here so we also had an mri uh, warning three days ago or two days ago if you don't count this one and if the candle that started here this red candle had not been below all these um, candles this would have been a nine green with an mri top which in my opinion would have been much worse than it is now so that's also one of my um, opinions about this great recovery we had today and we are still trading above the prior candle opening the red candle there so uh, the volume continues to go sideways not going up or down so the volume is stable the rsi is pointing back up again after yesterday is pointing down and the macd is on the daily is bullish i'm also bullish on the daily as long as we are able to break at least the trend line the white trend line you guys see over there so the macd we have a few green bars we had yesterday it turned out to be a light green because of that big drop but now we are on the green again so the bar for today is green the blue line above the orange this is going slightly sideways but pointing up and if we continue like this and break the trend line the macd will become very bullish on the daily chart so let's take a look at the four hour wow the four hour as i said i was watching the weekly candle and it was crazy because i saw it going up really fast on the weekly so here it is this just started let me check for the one hour this started recently yep so the past hour and this hour now just went crazy with the support of the 50 period moving average the yellow line so it went back down and then got support here and it had this break out however i don't like on the hourly i don't like this mri top so let's see how this um how this fast movement of the price action to the upside is going to turn out on the hourly but let's go back to the four hour and check it by order so you guys see the mri again we had a nine mri buy so the mri buy is right there maybe you just don't see it so well but it's here the green arrow the number one the two three so this is the three of nine <clears throat> um the three of nine green count the three candle the number three candle had this big surge to the upside broke all the moving averages that's a good sign especially if you count that the previous candle was a buy signal with the green star so on the four hour it looks very 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 bullish let's see what happens and if we are at least able to break this trend line to the upside and then we have the first resistance the real resistance around 58k again which was what sent us back down twice when we reach this top and that top uh, we have been having uh, a few nice uh, volume um, green bars here on the down uh, part of the chart and the rsi completely pointing up because of that surge which is a very good sign that people are again we're just waiting for this uh this um local bottom here to start buying again the dip and it looks very good on the four hour chart 
it looks so good that even on the four hour chart the MACD was completely bearish but now we have been seeing the light red bars uh, decreasing back to zero and the blue line pointing up like crazy just going to surpass the orange line on the next candle if we continue this surge to the upside however don't forget on the hourly we have an MRI top so we might see some um stopping of this uh, search to the upside at least for one two three hours and let's see how it continues later on so on the four hour we can also check the bitmax funding rate the bitmax funding rate is not so high i like it like this the premium is to the downside the longs are uh, to the upside you guys know already that the orange part of the bar is the premium and the blue part is the funding rate itself how many longs are um, in higher volume than the shorts so that's why we have this to the upside around 0 0.009 or i would call it even 0 0.01 so it's very low this is good for the bullish case and let's see what happens in the next few hours because i love that surge so let's check again the one hour quickly so the MRI top, <clears throat> the MRI top is doing what it's supposed to do. It's rejecting the price around the 57 and a half. This is the beginning of the resistance around 58 and the trend line also and the MRI resistance line here, the dotted red line out just above. So as expected, this surge is now stopping because of this hourly MRI top. And let's see how this evolves in the next few hours. We could probably see um, on the hourly chart, we could see uh, the candles coming back down to find support on the 100 period moving average and probably continue if the surge is strong enough to at least go to the next big resistance around 58, 59. So that's it for the MRI. Um, let's go, let's leave it on the four hour chart and let's go check the pro indicators framework. We start with the daily. So on the daily, we still, in my opinion, we are we are still in a very, you can see guys, it's, it's still a bull market with some retracements. For me, this is the uh, third wave of a five um, Elliott wave count. We could probably, if we don't go up and surpass the previous all time high, we could probably start to see here a uh, four wave a fourth wave of the five elliott wave count and probably see another surge to the upside probably going to the 70s or low 80s and then we would have to reevaluate what happens there uh, probably that big correction that everyone is waiting would come after the fifth wave of the elliott wave count around the mid 70s probably low 80s but we still have a long way to go there so i will need to reevaluate when we get out of this retracement that we had here let's take a look at the four hour on the pro framework so this is a drawing i had yesterday for you guys i'm happy that we did not go up to continue forming this head and shoulders as you guys know already probably if the head and shoulders would confirm and we would break this support on the orange rectangle here the uh the breakout to the downside could take us back to the second range boundary level at around 47000 so this surge is a nice uh, signal that we want to go again to see new all time highs let's see what happens if we can at least have a breakout of this ranging channel which is the white line here on this um so this is the white top of the ranging channel if we can have a breakout above this and break the prior resistance around 58 59 60 we could see new all-time highs soon but i guess i'm not going to i'm not going to bet on seeing it this week or even the next probably we are going to range for some more time probably we are going to be rejected again and maybe try uh, this support again back down here and i will say that probably we will see um if it happens if this resistance can be broken to the upside in the coming week or the next one after that so i don't see it so strong that we could go right now even before sunday to retest the all-time high and break out out of it so however 
let's see here the four hour tells me that we are with uh, up trend surge here on the momentum and the sine wave we are still going up so there's still some strength out there and um, in my opinion we probably will not see this head and shoulders forming we could see just a small retracement before trying to uh, break the ranging channel and if we can do it and probably pass this red line of the indicator here which could be uh, the start of the big resistance and you guys see also down down there just uh, behind all the drawings on the chart this box here the gray box here is where the real resistance will start and we are not even there so we need to break the ranging channel first and then we could go up for the resistance and try to break it let's see what happens i'm happy if we don't form this head and shoulders and if the surge continues in the next few hours and even one or two days we might be able to break all this resistance to the upside however if we still cannot do it and the mri on the hourly is very strong sending bitcoin price action back down um, we might still see some trouble around here uh, and i will not delete this head and shoulders that i drew yesterday right now i will leave it there for some time and the arrow of the possible breakout of the support to the downside i will leave it there just as a warning because people should remember that we are always uh, measuring probabilities and although I think the probability now to go to the upside if we can break that ranging channel is higher we still have a lower probability of continuing forming this head and shoulders so let's see how this evolves in the next few hours and days at least until the close of the week on Sunday and then uh, we can reevaluate on Monday how this all looks um, and let's see how it goes Okay, for me today, it's the, it's the analysis I have for you guys today. Let's stop the screen share. Uh, so, let me see if I had anything I need to... So, just before you guys uh, forget it, or so that you guys don't forget it, we will resume the live streams on Saturday. This will be always around 5 p.m. If there is any kind of change on the hour of the live stream on Saturdays, I will tell you guys in advance. But probably we will continue around 5 p.m. on Saturdays. And so don't forget that for the next Saturday, uh, three days from now. And I will continue resuming the shorter analysis during the week at during the afternoon. So anytime you will see the video uploaded to YouTube, that's the time that you will see it. Okay, so I'm still uh, I'm still remembering uh, I'm still with what Tone Vey said in my head <laughs> in the previous video I watched today his live stream of today saying that garbage and that uh, shitcoin called Dogecoin don't forget that's become irrational so be careful if you are training uh, Doge um, we are I also saw on that uh, stream that Tone Vey did today that we are on an MRI top. So just be aware of that. Be careful, guys. Be careful out there trading. And I wish you guys a very nice day today. And gently touch the like button. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.